Hi, in this video, I will show you how to update a SharePoint people or group column. This is my this is my SharePoint list, AJ list. Under the list settings, my column is called test person, people or group. I have set allow multiple selections as yes. Okay, so there are two ways you could do this. I'll show you both ways here. So for this, I'm using a manual trigger. SharePoint connector. And I'm using, I need get items. Okay, so the record I'm after is test 2. So for this, I'm going to use a filter query here. So that is title equals test 2. Next, update item. Okay, so you can see here test person claims dash one because I said I, I set this as more than one values you can update. So enter a custom value and I'm going to enter my email address here. Click on add new item. I could I can set another email address as well. Okay, let's test this flow now. Okay, flow ran successfully and You can see here only one value has been updated here. Let's, let's me, let me go back to, oh, I didn't set that to center custom value. That's the reason. Yep. Let's try it again. Okay, here it is. Okay, now let's edit this record. I'm going to clear these two values now. Next, I'm going to show how to um, set more than one value dynamically. Okay. So this is another way of doing it. Let's clear these two values. Okay. First, I'm going to initialize a variable. Yes, let's let's call email one. Next, I'm going to add another variable. Call this as email two. So the format you need is as follows. So if you have, if you go if you have multiple values and dynamically if you want to set, this is another way of doing it as well. So let's set email one here and here email two. Now go to the update item. So 
remember you need to click on the T sign here which says switch to input and your array because here you are, we are setting more than one value now place the cursor there and map the output of the compose let's test this here it is okay so you can see here it's updated those two values correctly so using this JSON format we can we can map more than one values and dynamic and also I shown and shown uh, shown the example as a dynamic mapping also here um, then set the values under the update item but remember you need to press the T sign to switch that to the uh, you know the array uh, input and your um, array type and then map the output of that compose thank you for watching